Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to talk about emotional romances. These are romance books that will rip your heart apart but then slowly put it back together by the end because don't worry there are HEAs, happily ever afters, at the end of all these books. Guaranteed, okay? I do have one previous video with this trope. I don't know if it's a trope. Anyway, books that rip your heart out, okay? Um, emotional reads. I'll link that video down below if you want more. But here are 10 romances that are very emotional that might make you cry. Just saying. <laughs> we have two Britney Cherry books. Britney Cherry has a lot of emotional books in my book. Uh, first is Art and Soul. This one's actually kind of more of a young adult book. Both of these characters are in high school. They meet in high school. And one of them is art and the other is soul. Like, I can't really, I don't want to spoil anything, um, but one of their nicknames is Art and the other one is Soul. They end up actually working on a class project together in high school. One of them is like the new kid at school. Um, his mom recently passed away and he had to move to the small town and they become work partners at school on a project and um, the rest is kind of history. The heroine does not have the best home life situation right now because she just found out that she is pregnant. Um, not by our hero, but from another guy. And um, so it's one of those situations where he's falling in love with a woman who's pregnant by another guy. So, um, and her family is not taking the news well at all, like not at all. So it deals a lot with that. So please be aware of that before you go in, take care of yourself and your mental health. If you think that's gonna trigger you, please don't pick up this book. But it is so like heart wrenching, but it's worth it in the end, I promise. And then the other one by Brittany that I have for this video is Southern Storms. Our heroine in this book just found out that her husband has been cheating on her. And I believe she also went through a miscarriage. And so she's going through a lot of emotions at the moment. She decides to move to the town where her estranged sister lives. And she's gonna stay in one of the properties that um, they own. They own a few properties to like rent out her sister and her husband. And so she's going to stay in one of those houses. And um, she first meets the hero when she decides to go on a walk in the woods, kind of like behind her house. And she finds this bench sitting at a bunch of wildflowers. And she sits there and he comes up all gruff and grumpy, like basically like, get off my lawn, but get off my bench <laughs> kind of thing. Um, she doesn't know, but that is actually a memorial, I think, for his previous wife, I want to say. I think he's a widower. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I read this one, y'all. <laughs> they don't really get off on the right foot, obviously, but they quickly realize that they actually know each other. They met each other years ago at summer camp when they were kids and they were each other's best friends. So there's a lot going on in here, a lot with grief and a loss of loved ones on both ends. So again, take care of yourself before get in, getting into this book and all the other ones that I'm gonna mention. I honestly feel like Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young it can be an emotional read if you are in the disabled community like myself. This book made me sob like a freaking baby, okay? This one definitely pulled at my heartstrings. This one's about Bo and Wynn. They have a one night stand, but then she finds out that she's pregnant, Wynn does. Um, and yeah, it deals a lot with loving yourself and figuring out like, I am worthy of life, even though I'm disabled. I am worthy of the dreams that I have, even though I'm disabled. I am worthy of being a parent, of taking care of somebody, of a baby, even though I'm disabled. So, oh, I could like cry just thinking about this. But yeah, this one is emotional for me in, that way um because it spoke to my like dis disabled heart here <laughs> so um i love this one but there are other like emotional moments in here but that is probably the biggest kicker in my book next is my oxford year by julia wayland and i can't tell you why this one's emotional because you're not really supposed to know why okay um but this is basically the forbidden romance between our heroine who goes to oxford to go to college and it's her forbidden romance with one of her professors okay it seems really cute and cutesy on the front it is kind of cute and cutesy these two don't really get off on the right foot i think because she's um like standing on the sidewalk and he drives by in his car and the puddle that's like on the side of the road like he drives over it and splashes her with water all before the first day of classes <laughs> um so they don't really get off on the right foot but then they end up falling for each other it is forbidden um and there is an emotional aspect in here that i cannot talk about because it's spoilerish um, but trigger warning in here for cancer just cancer letting you know another author that is always going to be on this list 
is Emma Scott. So a five minute life really pulled at my heartstrings here. Um, our heroine in here gets amnesia after she's in a car accident with her family. Her parents are fine. She ends up getting amnesia where she is only able to remember like five minutes and then her memory resets. And um, she forgets everything that's happened in the past like five years of her life. This is her romance with a guy who kind of like becomes like a janitor at the sanitarium that she's gonna be in, that she's that she's currently in. First he finds her like extremely like beautiful and captivating and then he realizes, oh my gosh, she's a patient here. Um, Cause he was thinking about asking her out. They were in like the lobby together. Um, and he's like, oh my gosh, she's a patient here. I can I cannot, no, that is so inappropriate. Um, but the more time he spends with her, the more he realizes that he's falling for this woman and maybe when she's around him she starts remembering her past somewhat so yeah there's a lot going on in here the hero also has a disability he um has a stutter and he's very self-conscious about it so he doesn't really talk a lot um but the heroine brings something out of him brings out his confidence and i love that they like bring out the best in each other next is redemption of the heart by moni boyce this one is very emotional so please watch out so our heroine in here was in a very abusive relationship okay and she is just getting out of prison because of something that she did um when her I think husband, I think it was husband. Husband was abusing her. She did something that was completely unforgivable while she was forcibly under the influence. And um, she actually got in a car accident and ended up killing the woman in the other car. And these are all things that we know, by the way, as the reader. Um, anyway, she is now at a halfway house when she gets out of jail. And she's like, I want to get my life around. And she ends up getting a job at this restaurant. It's her romance with the chef at the restaurant. And he has definitely grown a lot in the past few years. His wife died a few years ago. And um, maybe in a car wreck where someone was under the influence and um, killed his wife in a collision. And he hasn't really been the same since. But he's met this new woman now who has kind of sparked life and joy back in him. And um, they do not know that their lives are intertwined in any way at all. And man, it is a shock when they realize it. So I'll just leave it at that. I haven't read anything like that before. I was like, like audibly gasping while reading this at multiple points in here. So very emotional one is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. This is like historical Christian romance. Um, and I have a whole entire vlog of me reading this book. I'll link it down below. One of my best friends from high school, she loves this book and she wanted me to read it. So I decided to read it and like vlog my experience for her. And then I just ended up posting the video <laughs> online and y'all seem to really like it. So this is a romance with our heroine Angel who was put into prostitution as a child and has kind of grown up in this brothel her whole entire life. And um, this man named Michael comes, at her, comes to her and says like, god has deemed you my wife like you're going to marry me she's like are you kidding no it's just her relationship with michael and michael being there every step of the way he like knows that this woman is his and is going to be incredibly patient he's going to wait for her for the rest of his life essentially because he knows that that is god's plan the heroine goes through so much abuse it is absolutely heart-wrenching and she runs away from michael like 20 times i want to say and i just i remember reading this book being like again girl again like he loves you like stay um but she's absolutely terrified absolutely terrified of loving someone so um this book made me sob so many times um so yeah if you want an emotional book this one this one is it another really emotional one is easy by tamara weber this one's more old school i think this one came out in like 2009 or 2008 i want to say it is kind of like a staple new adult romance though it's like one of, i feel like one of the first in the genre honestly um our heroine is in college and she almost gets sexually assaulted and our hero who's another college student ends up saving her like saving her life essentially and um from that moment on um she decides like she wants to take in control of her life and wants to learn how to defend herself so he helps her learn how to defend herself and it's about the two of them falling for each other they're in college together in classes but yeah this one deals a lot with sexual assault so please be aware of that taken to novu by elizabeth stevens is an alien romance but man is it emotional okay um so this one deals a lot with sexual assault again more so off page but the heroine is really dealing with like grief of what she's been through um so this is the second book in the series i do recommend reading book number one first because you'll understand more in book number two but the heroine of this one kiki she is a human woman who lives on this 
moon orbiting this planet where the moon has a bunch of illegal human humans living there and aliens from the planet the moon is orbiting will come to the moon every so often and basically sexual assault a bunch of women and every single time kiki gets chosen because she is so beautiful and um she has experienced a lot of trauma from this literally does not speak anymore like does not speak at all and at the beginning of the previous book there's actually some aliens that are like the good aliens are figuring out oh my gosh what are these guys doing and go to rescue the humans and to stop all these basically rapists go to stop them and um one of the saviors who's a prince realizes oh my gosh my mate is on this planet and he finds out it's kiki and this book starts out with kiki being put onto the planet a snow planet like absolutely covered in snow which she's never seen snow in her life and it's her traipsing through the snow trying to escape this man because she thinks that he is going to abuse her like every other man she's ever met this book is a lot about her dealing with healing herself and um learning how to love herself again because it is so hard after something like that has happened to you so um i love this one and the hero in here is top tier like everything he is so patient and kind with her he's like you don't have to be in the same room with me you don't have to be around me whatever you're comfortable with i just want you to be happy and if i'm not in the picture i won't like it like i want to be with you but i want like you to be comfortable first and foremost so i, I freaking love him and the last one that i have is highlander most wanted by maya banks this one deals a lot with a heroine who is hated by a lot of people a lot of bullying um so in the previous book in this series our heroine of this book was rescued from a man who would beat and abuse her within the inch of her life all the time would sex assault her against her will obviously and um at the end of the first book she ends up getting saved by that man this is her romance now with one of the men who saved her and the town that her abuser lived in thought that she was there willingly and is basically a whore and they bully her every single chance that they get like these people are absolutely awful um and the hero re when the hero realizes this by the way he goes absolutely feral he's like if you talk about this woman my fist is gonna go into your face like no <laughs> like he full-on screams at all these people at one point but this heroine has a lot of healing to do physically and mentally and the hero helps her with that and is another patient man who's like i'm gonna be here for you i want to be with you but i also want you to love yourself and be comfortable with yourself and me like i don't want you to be scared of me or men in general so i'll be here waiting in the wings for you whenever you need me so i love this one it's a great historical read and definitely pulls at your heartstrings <laughs> anyways they have it those were 10 emotional romances let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a crying emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all